Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we're going to look at how you can separate a number from text in a cell and we're going to take a VBA solution to this it is possible to do by writing a formula but you're looking at writing an array uh, formula at best and it's, it's very complex and I thought a VBA approach would actually be more straightforward. So we've got these three examples Mickey Mouse and then five numbers Sonny Coleman two numbers followed by more text and then Sandra Thompson and four numbers so they're all very different and we're going to see how a macro can extract the numbers into I'm going to put them in column C here they're going to appear in the column next to the column they're currently in. That's what our macro will do. Similar to what text to column does. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the Visual Basic Editor. I'm sorry, but this video is going to assume some VBA knowledge. But uh, this is the macro that has been written. Now I'm going to provide a link in the description of this video to uh, a web page that will have this code on it so you can just copy and paste this code uh, and change it if need be uh, to your requirements so there will be a link in the description of this video below where you can get this code this video though I'm just going to describe and walk through what it does so we've got a few variables at the top here actually got seven variables at the top all used within this and the approach we've taken, if I just shorten this locals window for a moment, is that I've got this outside loop, this for each next loop, that looks using an object variable that's been created for all the cells within the selected range. So when we run this code, I'll need to select a range first. There's the end of the uh, for each next loop, for the next cell. So do it for every cell within the selection. And what we're going to do is uh, initialize two of these variables. i equals 1. Is number is false. So we've got a boolean variable called is number equals false. Not a number at the moment. i equals 1. A little counter variable. And the first thing we do is a do loop, a do while loop. And its job is to find the first number in that string. So it's going to look through every single character. And when it finds a number... It's going to make a note of it and exit the loop. And it's going to make a note of it within the start character variable. So do while is number is false, so it's not a number. And you've still got characters to look within. Len function there to find the length for the string. This bit here, using a variable called test character, we'll assign the characters we're looking at to that variable. For testing. So mid function here, look inside that cell at the first character because variable i equals 1, but this will loop through that for this character and extract just the one. Extract this character, give it to test character, and we'll test it. So is test character numeric? If it is, assign that character. to start character, not assign a character, sorry, assign the number of that character within that string to start character. And make is number equals true, so when we loop back round, that will not meet a condition and it will exit the loop. If that's not true, then uh, make sure i equals i plus 1. Or even if it's true, actually, we'll be doing i equals i plus 1. That's going to happen regardless of whether the statement is true or not. But once we exit that loop, once we've got it as start character, we're going to reset is number equals false, and then look for the last number in that string. So we're going to keep looking, we'll say do while again, is number equals false, and i is less than or equal to len range. Uh, test character equals mid, rng i, and one so looking from where we were hunting out numbers again 
Uh, or actually hunting out text, really, I should say. We're looking for the text now, where we know if we find text, it must be the end of the number. Uh, so this time it's if his number is false. So if it's not a number this time. So the same thing, but in reverse, really. And a slightly different if statement here as well. We're asking if, uh, or the same one there, but nested within it. If you're at the end, if I equals Len, if you're on the last character, then assign that to I. If you're not at the last character, then assign the one before it to I. Otherwise, we get one too many because of the way that we're looping here. The rest of this remains the same. We need to exit the loop, and we're going to increment I as we go. And outside all of that, we need to find a difference. This is all teeing up this mid function here. And we need to find out how many characters are there. Last character, take away the start character. Uh, plus one on top, or you'll be one less than what you need there. Because the first character is four, and the last character is eight. Then there's actually uh, five characters, so we'll take two away. That gives us four plus one is five characters. Um, yes, and then we will offset by one column to the right. We'll put the answer in the column to our right. Column C in this example, using the mid function to look at that cell. Start from the start character and extract the number of characters that we found out. So that is what we're going to do. Now I'm going to just restore this window a little bit so I can position it to the right of what we want to do. I'm going to select the range. So I've got the range selected. So I can make it a bit bigger than that though. Because I want to use the locals window as well so we can see the variables. You may be interested in seeing the variables. And we'll loop through this. Let's open that up. Okay, so F8 to step through, and here we go. Going to be a bit of a battle here with the locals window. See if we can scroll it down a tiny bit more, maybe. And as we F8 through, so for each loop, that initializes them two variables. Let's open up a bit more. And we'll go into this loop. Into the loop we go. Test character. Notice it testing the M down here, so the first letter. And we keep looping through. So I can see I incrementing and it testing the relevant character. In we go. We'll keep going through. K, E, Y, M, O, U, S, E. And then we come back round. And now we're on to the 12th character, uh, which is the number 4. So we assign it to it. There we go. Number 4 is in for testing. And it meets the condition. It is numeric. So we store the number character it is. Start character gets number 12. We assign his number is true. So that we increment it one more. It's on to 13. But then we'll exit the loop. And reset his number to false. It then goes for the second loop. To find the end. So... So doing the opposite here, looking for text now. But similar story, we're incrementing again. So incrementing as we go, 15, 16, looking for it. This has got the number 6 at the moment. As we come in now on the 8, which is the last character. So we'll do that test and move inside. Now that is numeric, but it is the end. I equals len, it is the end. That is why it's going inside. That or that and it meets the second condition. If it equals len, and it does, then take that as the character. So 16 becomes the last character. We assign his number is true, just to ensure we exit the loop. We then find the difference, and add one on top. So there's five numbers there, 12 and 16, take away that equals 4, add one on top to get the 5, Offset it to the cell next door. 41368 in the cell next door. And around we go. And if I hit my run button to finish this off, 
that is our finished article so the extra bit in here with that there is needed for the second Sonia Coleman one to make sure we got the, the two numbers and nothing more and that is a VBA procedure for extracting numbers from a cell with text uh, just to reiterate there is a link in the description of this video to copy and paste that code directly into a, a macro for yourself change anything that's necessary but it will give you a good framework or will be the direct answer for what you need thank you for watching please check out some of our other tutorials some of our other tips at computergaga.com